Hey there everybody, Fuel's Front here today. Uh, a lot of people have been requesting uh, measurements of this, my racing lawnmower go-kart. I think a lot of people are very interested in it, kind of want to build something similar. So this video will hopefully cover all the vital measurements, all the stuff that I would consider important for you to basically build your own one of these things. So I'll start by saying that most of the components to build this go-kart came from BMIKarts.com. I'll link it in the description. They have pretty much everything you would need to build yourself a go-kart. Um, prices are pretty good, shipping's a little expensive, so try to do larger orders because little orders, they just get you on the shipping, so it's worth it to spend a couple hundred bucks and just get everything all at once, trust me. Um, but we'll start with the measurements of the front axle, and that is 24 inches wide from spindle to spindle, and obviously your spindles go on the outside edges of that. And the main part of the frame is 40 and one half inches long, and you can see that includes the thickness of the front axle attached to the front. The width of the frame is approximately 14 and a half inches wide, and that's just wide enough to fit the Honda Clone GX200 engine and to have two torque converter assembly made by Comet. It fits in there very tight, it's a very snug fit, but you can still work on it. Um, the intent of this go-kart was to be as small as possible and still have uh, space and room to get in there and work with wrenches, which I think I've achieved a pretty good balance with this build. The rear axle is a 36 inch wide by 1 inch diameter solid steel axle. Um, the bearings came as a kit, they were like 20 bucks, they were a 1 inch axle bearing kit and these are very good bearings if you're welding your own go-kart because with pillow block bearings you got to make sure your alignment is absolutely perfect. These bearings you can fudge it a little bit so you won't eat your bearings up in a few days after finishing building your go-kart. My brake system is actually a very generic brake system. You can pick these up off of BMI carts or pretty much anywhere for that matter. And they're just a mechanical disc brake system. At first I was a little skeptical as to whether or not the mechanical brakes would be sufficient on this go-kart. But I tell you at 30-40 miles an hour you mash on the brakes and you stop. All the tires are Dunlop Kart Racing tires and I picked these up off of eBay. The exhaust was custom made by me. It's about 18 to 20 inches long and it's one inch diameter and it sounds really loud. Um, the video really honestly doesn't do it justice. If you were to hear it in person, it sounds totally different than what you guys hear it on YouTube. Um, sounds really, really good. I am really happy with it. So the steering is actually very simple. It's just a set of handlebars that runs down a shaft to a lower connection point where two tie rods hook up. And each tie rod goes out to each corresponding wheel, as you can see. And this is called a direct steer setup. It's very reliable and works very well. The only bad part about it is there's a lot more steering feedback when you hit bumps and it's pretty touchy when you turn at high speeds the whole cart turns extremely quickly so I'll probably extend the connection points on the spindle sides of the tie rods just so it's not so touchy anymore that's a big complaint that I have from people that ride this thing at high speeds is that the steering is very touchy so I'll try to fix that before it's all completely said and done but yeah that's pretty much basically it outside of everything else I mean the steering upright supports that go up and down, you know, you can see in some of my old videos, there's a square up here like a halo and my steering bushing sits in there. I mean, if you want really specific, uh, you know, to build it exactly like this, I would suggest that you go through some of the old videos of this and look at those because um, a lot of that is pretty detailed information. I'm not going to go through it all over again just for the sake of doing it, um, but the information is there if you guys want it. Um, go ahead and check it out for yourself if you're interested in building something like this. But unfortunately, the next thing I'm going to have to do to this uh, racing cart is tear it all down, get it sandblasted, and ready to start painting. I only have a few little things I want to modify on it before I consider it done. But outside of that, I'm pretty happy with this build and the way it's turned out. Uh, it's, it's gotten a lot of attention, both on YouTube and in person. People seem to love this thing. So that's pretty much it.